Hello my dear students, how are you all? I hope everyone is fine. Have you enjoyed your Diwali vacation? Yes, some might be saying yes, some might be saying no. Yes, you might have enjoyed your Diwali vacation with lots of fun, am I right? But you, you have also taken the care, you might have um, enjoyed your Diwali vacation with safety. I hope you have enjoyed with the safety. So now let's begin with our study. Are you ready for your study? Oh yes or no? Yes, you have to be with that whole energy, with all enthusiasm. We will start with our next point in the physics. We are going to start with the next schedule that is magnetism and electricity. The first part we are going to discuss about the magnetism. Now, what is the magnetism? See, have you observed your fridge? What happens when you close the refrigerator? It directly stuck. After a minute, you can see it, it is directly stuck. How? How it happens? Can you just tell me? Can you imagine why it is happening? You might have seen the compass, some compass, pencil compass that, that have some strip. You can see they immediately closed. Why? Yes, because of the magnet, because of the magnet. So how the magnet is discovered that we are going to discuss first, how the magnet is discovered. So first point we are going to discuss in today's video, the discovery of the magnet. What we are going to discuss, the discovery of the magnet. There are many different views. There are many different views were considered, were given by the magnet. The first view, the, that one man, one day one man was grazing his, uh, grazing his herb. He has taken his herb on the mountain. He has taken his herb on the mountain. What happens? He has, he has, he has wear uh, shoes in that the number of nails were stuck uh, on that shoes okay and the nails were stuck on that shoes and he sat on the that particular rock one of the rock he sat on that particular rock he had he had carried he has carried one um, one stick one stick which was of made up of iron he carried one stick which was named after, uh, which was made up of iron, which was made up of iron. When he sat on that uh, rock, when he sat on the rock, after some time, he found that his stick was stuck on that mount, uh, on that rock. He found that the stick was stuck on that mount on that rock he also observed that he was he was finding a difficult to remove his shoes he was finding the difficult to remove his shoes as he, as on the shoes he he had he had got some nails stuck on that um, shoes so the iron which was attracted towards that particular stone after some times there was an invention that is the wise man told that this is nothing but a magnet this is nothing but a magnet then the second view that is the second view of the magnet that is the second story of the magnet the first it was a shepherd named magnes the name of that uh, boy was a shepherd magnes so on the name on the behalf of his name the discovered the name was given to that stone or the particular magnet on the name of that uh, shepherd the name was given the shepherd name was magnes so on that the name was given as a magnet the name was given as a magnet this was a story of a this story was uh, was taken place in the greece this story was taken place in the greece then the second story it was of the chinese the chinese people they found one stone which always so shows the direction 
which always shows the direction most of the time during night time or the cloudy weather it was a def difficult for the uh, sellers to get a particular direction so they they took one stone and it it was telling about a direction so the name after they name they gave the name to this stone as a load stone they gave the name to this stone as a load stone they gave the name to that stone as a load stone it is also called as a leading stone so this was an natural magnet this is also this this all this were called as a natural magnet this was about a natural magnet now we can't get every magnet naturally so we the man discovered the two uh, the man developed the new magnets which were the man started to develop the magnet which is called as a artificial magnet it is called as an artificial magnet are you getting the load stone is called as a natural magnet now uh, man started to discover the different types of the magnet now we can get a different shapes of the magnet that is bar magnet horseshoe magnet cylindrical ma magnet ball ended magnet these are the different types of the magnet are you getting so then the man discovered the different shapes of that magnet and it was this magnets were called as an artificial magnet are you getting so i hope you have understood the discovery of the magnet in this there are number of views in the discovery of the magnet the first it was a shepherd named magnes the story of the shepherd magnes and the second is of the chinese seller and chinese seller the name gave gave the name that is the load stone gave the name to that particular stone that is the load stone and on the base of the Uh, on the behalf of the shepherd magnes after the name after magnes the name was given as a magnet the name was given as a magnet now can you just tell me every particle if you will you might have played with the magnet you might have played with the magnet now can you just tell me every part if you will take the plastic scale can, is it is it possible to stuck to the magnet no if you will touch that magnet to the wood whether the wood will stuck to the magnet no if you will take iron it can stick to the magnet there are some material which can attract to the magnet such a materials are called as a magnetic substance or a magnetic material the substances which can attract towards the magnet the substances which can attract towards the magnet is called as a magnetic substance or a magnetic material it is called as a magnetic material while the substances which do not attract while the substances which do not attract towards the magnet they are called as a non magnetic substance they are called as a non magnetic substance for example wood plastic thermocol they cannot attract towards the magnet so they are called as a non magnetic substance they are called as a non magnetic substance or the magnetic substance are you getting so i hope you have understood the discovery of the magnet then we have discussed the two types of magnet natural and artificial magnet now but one more thing i would like to tell you see artificial magnets are more powerful than the natural magnet artificial magnets are more powerful than the natural magnet then we have discussed the two types of the magnetic substance the substance which are can be attracted towards the magnet they are called as a magnetic substance or a magnetic material and the substance which cannot get attracted towards the magnet they are called as a non magnetic substance or a non magnetic material i hope you have understood today's work will be that you have to read the lesson from your cbsc book test book that is magnetism go through it and uh, read the lesson and remove the new points from it thank you